To be honest, I didn't realize that so early. I realized that I think last year when we started the company, then, you know, I started to look at things a little bit differently. But back then it was very spontaneous. As I said, like we're just happy with the things, how they were going. We were, you know, slowly putting some limitations, slowly adding some, usually just, you know, adding more people into the team to solve those issues. And it worked. It's really it, like, you know, the product that is built within an, an agency, it really has to, there, there, there is a lot of things that are influencing how it's being built. Like, you know, the, the main goal of, the, of an agency is to make money. That's the first thing. And if they have some R&D budget, this is usually not a budget that will allow to build, you know, a whole product on the huge scale. So we needed to be aware of that as well. And we needed to be just, you know, creative in that, in that way. But I think we did that. And, you know, now that I am looking at this from, from, from perspective, I think we did a really good job because there were so many things where it could, when something could go wrong and it didn't. And when, you know, when I'm looking back, we were very lucky, really. We were very lucky, especially on the early phases, because we were just not ready for such a huge growth of a product especially, you know, the first year two, where we grown the most, like, you know, we, we even haven't time to really sit and think like, okay, guys, so, so, so maybe we should organize differently, like, you know, do operations differently, because we're all the time on the events, on the hackathons, like, you know, adding features, talking to the community, you know, like, it is, I think it is the same when you're as spontaneous open source maintainer. So you can you have a group of people, they're joining and you're slowly like, you know, developing those processes, etc. But if you don't have, how to call this, like maybe not a business plan, but at least a plan. Yeah, how, to, how you want to grow this operationally, like within the company, then it, it will remain spontaneous. It's mostly because of the community really, because again, as I said, they were super supportive. We're also very experienced with open source because the Magento community, they, they knew how to do this. So it really took a lot, like a lot of things that could go wrong, didn't, just because of the fact, you know, which, which type of community engaged with this storefront at the beginning. So we, we were not very experienced in that matter. We are learning as we, as, as we go. But usually when you're learning as you go, you're doing all the possible mistakes. And in our case, I think we did maybe the few. And if I think about it, they were kind of inevitable. I mean, you know, how the project was growing versus how much time and effort we were able to spend on it, especially at the beginning, at the early stages of the project, because it changed a lot once we started to sell the projects. One, you know, the view storefront started to pay for, for itself. Then we're able to just, you know, get the percentage of that and invest into the product. But until it was purely R&D, wow, it was madness.